Push your fitness further with Fitbit Charge 2, a heart rate and fitness wristband that helps you make the most of all day, workouts, and beyond. Use Pure Pulse Continuous Heart Rate to help optimize intensity during workouts using zones and better track all day calorie burn. Charge 2 gives you the motivation to stay on track with steps, distance, and active minutes at a glance, and automatically tracks your sleep to show how long and how well you've slept. Use multi-sport modes to see real-time exercise stats on display and connected GPS to view pace and distance while you run and see a map of your route in the app. See how fit you are in the Fitbit app with a snapshot of your cardio fitness level. SmartTrack automatically tracks workouts like running, biking, and sports, so when you make your move, we'll make sure you get the credit you deserve. Find moments of calm in your day with personalized guided breathing sessions based on your heart rate and stay connected on the go with call, text, and calendar alerts. With a dynamic display and interchangeable bands, you can switch up your look for whatever your adventure is. Because every day is an opportunity for a life better lived. Make every beat count with Charge 2. We are waking up earlier, pushing our bodies further, going faster. We solve puzzles at work and again when we're home. We go until we go to bed, and then we go some more. This is why sleep matters. If our day is one giant workout, sleep is the recovery. And to truly rest, you need to listen to your body. With the Beautyrest Sleep Tracker, you can. One monitor for you, and if you need it, a second monitor for your partner are placed under your mattress to analyze your sleep, including breathing rate, heart rate, and motion with pinpoint accuracy. No watches or bands required. And now, getting the results of your night is as easy as asking. Alexa, ask Sleep Tracker how my night was. You slept eight hours, five minutes, with a sleep efficiency of 96% and a sleep score of 87. Armed with the information for a good sleep, you can get the rest your body needs so you can wake up and go, go, go. Because going... Konnichiwa. ...is what we do. Hey, I'm Patrick, the Director of Exercise Physiology here at Motive. I'm here today to give you some tips on a faster onboarding. 
First things first, I'm gonna need you to get your ring. Next, make sure you've downloaded the Motive app to your phone. Then I'm gonna need you to get your charger and insert it into any USB port. Remove the charger from your keychain. Push the window on the keychain to pop it out. Plug USB charger into any USB port. The ring has magnetic rails that will attach to the charger. Make sure the LED is facing you. You should feel the ring sit nicely on the charger and it should light up. Keep your ring on the charger while you're going through the setup. After you've activated your ring, you'll want to learn how to manually sync your ring. When you're prompted, take the ring off the charger and put it on your finger. Twist it a few times and you'll know that it's working when it starts to blink purple. Fill out your profile on the app to learn more about Active Minutes. For more information, visit our website at mymotive.com support. Thanks for watching. Hey, olen ammattilas triathlonist Teemu Lemettila. I'm professional triathlete Teemu Lemettila. I train hard and I need good sleep to recover sufficiently. For me, it's crucial to know the condition of my body each morning so I can optimize my training and achieve maximum long-term results. With MFITQS, I get a complete breakdown of my sleep and heart rate variability automatically without attaching anything to my body. First thing in the morning, I check my heart rate levels. If the whole night's average is above normal, I might be accumulating stress and I need to ease back a bit. Even more important to me, MFITQS tells me my resting heart rate value. It's very sensitive to anomalies, and if it rises, I might be overtraining or fighting a virus, and my body is letting me know it needs more time to recover. Next, I look at my nighttime heart rate visualization to see that there is normal fluctuation. And finally, I spend time studying my heart rate variability readout. After a heavy training day, I expect to see a clear rise with a nice upwards fluctuating curve. This shows me two things. First, that the evening RMSSD was low enough, meaning that I've been training hard enough. Then, the morning reading should be noticeably higher, indicating that I've fully recovered during the night. And if the linearization trends downwards, I know that I'm either too stressed, that there's something wrong physically, or that it's the morning of my triathlon. MFIT QS collects and displays long-term trends in an amazing way that really helps me prevent overtrainings, and at the same time, shows me when I can push my limits even further. Because I need to go hard and in high volume, overtraining is a very real threat to me. It can easily ruin an entire season. Remember, sleep is important to everybody. And for athletes, it's as important as training.